Hi everyone, I'm Clara. Welcome to The Crypto Today, bringing you the eye on the news for Tuesday. Let's take a look at today's news. The parent company of Bitfinex and Tether, iFinex, moved to vacate the court order, which alleged that the company is engaged in a cover-up to hide an alleged $850 million loss of commingled client and corporate funds because it was issued based on incomplete or incorrect facts and the wrong legal standard. Bitfinex and Tether argued that there was no ongoing fraud and no victims in need of the drastic remedy of an injunction to protect them. The U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission says it's willing to approve either futures contracts as long as proposals meet all the regulator's requirements. If approved, these futures could give investors access to a new derivatives product, ease retailer concerns over accepting crypto, and solidify the CFTC's authority in the crypto industry. Charlie Bilello, the director of research at Pension Partners, just said on Twitter that the highest return rate on investment will be from BTC in 2019 with a return rate of 52%. Facebook acquired the rights to the Libra trademark for its secretive cryptocurrency project. The previous trademark holder is a cryptocurrency tax company that recently changed its name to Luca. A new owner amendment for Libra was filed on April 20th with Facebook's Willow Road address. Consensus has published a paper that details a method of connecting public and private blockchains through a new atomic cross-chain transaction technology. They say we propose a cross-chain technique which allows transactions to be executed automatically across sidechains, introduce a new mechanism for proving values across sidechains, describe a transaction locking mechanism which works in the context of blockchain to enable atomic transactions, and a methodology for providing a global timeout across sidechains. Switzerland's top stock exchange SIX could issue a token to meet its goal of digitizing traditional assets. Thomas Zip said that the SIX's planned digital exchange will go live with a native token and an initial digital offering service in 2020. Bursa Malaysia has embarked on a securities borrowing and lending proof of concept that explores the opportunities afforded by blockchain technology to develop greater transparency and address other operational challenges associated with the SBL market in Malaysia. The project aimed to ramp up efficiency, speed, and capacity in securities lending supply and borrowing demand. Over the past year, the technology arm of the Central Bank of Iran, the Informatics Services Cooperation, has been developing prototypes for a comprehensive, nationwide blockchain platform. Named Borna, the platform aims to offer an integrated environment and common standards as well as reduce the cost of developing blockchain solutions and market entry for all of Iran's banking and financial players.